Welcome. Today I want to talk about overcoming the fear when you go stealth camping. It's the question I get asked the most. How am I not afraid? You know, aren't I afraid of an axe murderer or someone coming out in the middle of a night? You see, fear is really the fear of the unknown. And fear will stop you doing a lot of things in life. So knowledge will help conquer your fear. Once you figure out what you're afraid of, once you learn that those things really aren't anything to worry about, then that fear goes away. I want to talk about some of the things you can do before you go on your first stealth camp. The first thing you can do to prepare is to just go outside more and maybe just sit in the woodland like this, like today on this lovely morning. Just sit outside, just get familiar with some of the sounds. Maybe on some different days when it's a bit windier, you get to know what it's like actually just being outside and you become more comfortable outside generally. You've got to remember when you go outdoors, you're going into nature's environment. And when you do that, you become more at home in that environment. Even the birds now. And then you become more at home. They become more comfortable with you after you've been sat there for a while. You can go out walking in the dark. Um, you can get yourself a nice head torch won't cost that much maybe 20 pounds on Amazon when you start to feel comfortable then venture into a local woodland at night and start to listen to the sounds get to the place where you're comfortable walking through a woodland on your own at night here just are a few sounds of what the woodland sounds like at night so I'm gonna play a few sounds I'll put on the screen what the sounds are And once you start to recognize these sounds, they're not going to freak you out. So you can prepare before you go on your first stealth camp. You can go walking more, you can go outside more, you can then walk at night, and then maybe if you feel really daring, walk through a local woodland. And all these things are going to help you get ready for your first stealth camp. Once you're ready to venture out on your first stealth camp or first camp, I would suggest you just go camping outside somewhere, maybe in the garden and just camp outside. Get familiar with what the tent sounds like at night, you know, because a breeze blows against the tent. It makes certain noises. If you're not familiar, it sounds like somebody's stalking you and walking around the tent, brushing up against the side of your tent. So just camp in the garden. That's where um, I started. If you can't camp in your garden, you're not going to camp in a woodland so it's small steps really and also um, by camping in your garden you will be more familiar with how to set up your equipment if it's a tent then you set that up in the garden maybe more difficult with a hammock in the garden if you've got a bivy bag well you could do that in the garden as well in fact if you've never been on an adventure i would suggest you start with that one just go out in your sleeping bag make sure it's warm enough because it's going cooler now and just sleep on a clear night under the stars. That's an adventure, I recommend that one. Camp some places where you feel totally comfortable. I mean, you're not gonna get moved on in your garden, um, hopefully, so start with that one first. So when you do go on your first stealth camp, try and find a place where you're away from nature trails, like deer trails, because if you go into a woodland, the deer take a certain path. So try to be aware um, of where the wildlife may congregate in the evening. I mean, they may come out for a little party. I mean, I had one experience where I camped by a water source in an area with what, where wild deer congregate. So in the middle of the night, and I could hear lots of noise outside, and I basically, I didn't realize till the morning, but I didn't know what it was but my tent 
was surrounded by a herd, if it is a herd, of wild deer in the middle of the night, one o'clock in the morning, and then I could hear like slurping noises, and I'm thinking, what is that? I mean, I was literally, I thought, this is it. I mean, in your mind, you can't see the other side of your tent. So in my mind, I'm thinking, am I being abducted by aliens? I mean, you have some crazy thoughts, right? And um, if I'd known I was just by the water source and the deer come to drink at the water source in the middle of the night, um, I wouldn't have been afraid at all. So you learn these things as you go. I won't do that again. But basically, try and find a place which isn't by a badger set or a huge rabbit warren so that as soon as you set up your hammock, um, you can hear all all these furry creatures coming out for a party underneath you. I did uh, one camp in the woodland and literally I must have been near a badger set or something. I could hear lots of things running underneath me. Uh, it's a little bit unnerving if you don't know what those things are. Um, so I try and avoid that. It's pretty obvious really. You can see when there's huge holes in the ground. Um, obviously don't put your tent on those. You can't always see because sometimes they're covered up. Uh, but just do a little bit of, you know, searching your area to make sure there's no wildlife that is going to be going to come out or even that you're not going to be upsetting any wildlife um, during your camp. Before it goes dark on your first stealth camp, just scout out the area. You've probably seen me doing this before. I usually walk around. I get familiar with what it feels like and also what is sort of going on. And I always know a route out from my camp, you know, should I need to leave quickly, for example, or in the middle of the night, if the weather turns really badly, I have a route sort of planned. I know what I'm gonna do. I've got a contingency plan where I'm gonna go straight down here. Um, I'm gonna make my way back to whatever, to the safety or, or to the car. Um, so I know where I'm going. And I do have a head torch for that purpose. So I know I can get out of there. And then when it does go dark, now I find I'm not really comfortable just sitting in a woodland in the dark on my own. You know, when it goes pitch black, um, I just feel vulnerable. You know, I wouldn't have a fire because, you know, that fire is just gonna draw attention to yourself, especially if you're stealth camping. So normally I just get inside the hammock or get inside the bivy um, as soon as it goes dark. Uh, you can just make a more comfortable environment um, in your hammock or your tent um, and you're not so concerned about you know the different shapes that you see or whatever because you're in your little comfortable environment and then inside you know you can obviously do things like read listen to music things that help you sort of stay sort of peaceful I um, wouldn't listen to certain types of music that are really going to be freak you out you know what I mean or I uh, wouldn't read a horror book. That would be good advice anyway. I wouldn't recommend you watch loads of horror films um, if you're going to go stealth camping in the woods. Overcoming fear is so important because fear will stop you doing so many things. I think you have to confront your fears. You know, so many people don't do things in life. Um, there are people I know who won't drive on the M25 because they're afraid but it's very sad because if they overcame their fear maybe did some training and then they could do so many more things but because they're afraid to take that step they will always shy away from driving on the m25 and they won't be able to go anywhere if we don't confront our fears um, we will never experience all the things we could experience do i have the courage to step out of my comfort zone and do something new or am I just going to be afraid? And I thought the only way I'm going to really break through of that is I'm just going to go. So I'm not suggesting you do that. I'm suggesting you prepare to make it easier on yourself by following some of these tips beforehand. I was afraid, but I overcame. Didn't sleep much, but I overcame. And I did it. I proved it was possible to do. I proved that there was nothing really to be afraid of. And that's the thing. Each time you do something like this, uh, you realize, well actually, there's nothing to be afraid of. What was I afraid of? I should have done this years ago. So once you overcome your fear on one stealth camp, 
you'll find it easier next time and you've learnt so much and then you can go on more adventures setting yourself these little challenges makes you stronger because you overcome and then you know you can do that it does increase your confidence I think my confidence has increased through doing this through pushing myself a little bit out of my comfort zone a lot of people are afraid of going on their own and for this one I'll just say you know if you go out on your own a bit more you will become more comfortable with being on your own I get it some people just don't like being on their own but we all lead such busy lives and sometimes being on your own is quite nice then when you're more comfortable with that maybe then you can go on a camp on your own another thing you can do to make it a bit easier on yourself when you go stealth camping is to try and find a night where you think it's going to be lighter if you have a full moon um, it's quite light you know it's not as frightening as on a really dark night so I hope these tips help you and maybe will inspire you to try wild camping or stealth camping so what are some of the things that help you overcome the fear when you go stealth camping so why don't you try or plan or get prepared the thing is to do something I mean maybe you're not ready to go on a stealth camp yet but just go for a walk go in the outdoors just just uh, go walking at night just um, do something that gets you closer to where you want to be this is what day tripper is about really going on an adventure every week I really appreciate you joining these videos I hope these tips are helpful I hope they help you uh, maybe go on a stealth camp for yourself uh, let me know how you get on so thanks for watching this one please like the video subscribe if you haven't and uh, maybe share this video with a friend if you think they would appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you on the next adventure so bye for now